fundamental thing I see as holding back businesses from growing revenue at a faster pace. And uh, some of you won't like this, but it's the thing I see a lot is the politics between the sales and marketing teams and the disconnection between the thinking in sales and marketing. Now, um, it, originally, the business development function was designed to be the hybrid between sales and marketing. But actually, what it's become in reality is that um, business development has become almost a posher, more senior salesperson. So you've got marketing over here, you've got sales over here. And often they are on two completely different wavelengths. And I've seen this in small organizations with, you know, 50 people. And I've seen this in organizations with 500 and 5,000 people in the company that the marketing function and the sales function are totally disconnected. So what happens when you get into this situation? Well, what happens is you end up creating tons of marketing collateral that's never used. You create marketing collateral that doesn't help the sales people. If you think about it like a trajectory. So at this end here, you've got your customer, your new customer, one closed, contracted the works. And you work all the way back to this person doesn't know us. Why would you not integrate those two functions? Yet what I see is marketing doing their bit and sales doing their bit. I see the, the lead generation in some of these big companies. And at the amount of times I've had this conversation with people of going, the marketing department saying that the salespeople are no good, they can't close anything, they don't understand what they're doing. And then the salespeople going, they're sending us leads that are crap. Rubbish, absolute rubbish. And what happens here is millions, in some senses, in some cases, of marketing budget is wasted. And because and not because some of the stuff isn't good, but because the salespeople do their own thing. Because they don't understand how this piece of collateral and this initiative it, it will benefit. The other thing I see is marketing running campaigns, then briefing the salespeople on what's going to happen. This is madness. It's absolute madness that the marketing department would just brief salespeople on this is what we want you to do or this is what's going to happen at the end. The salespeople are integral to closing the business. Yet this silo thinking is creating irrelevant leads, wasting marketing budget and actually frustrating the revenue growth efforts. I recently had a message from somebody. Um, we were in a conversation and they said that the marketing team was targeted, targeted to certain uh, metrics. And so if they didn't do their bit in the way that they currently do it, they would fail on their metrics albeit they knew if they resourced the salespeople better, the salespeople would outperform. So sometimes what you have in these big organizations is because everybody's trying to cover their backsides, everybody doesn't want to look foolish, nobody wants to look uh, silly, common sense and smart thinking goes out the window and you end up with a marketing department doing things their way because of the quota. And then the sales team doing exactly the same thing. We have to do our thing, so we're going to do our thing. Just yesterday, I spoke to somebody in the sales role. They're targeted to make 100 calls a day, and the calls have to last uh, at least, on average, a minute. So their average call rate and call duration has to be a minute. So what are they doing? They're following the process and going, we have to have our call rate at a minute to hit our targets. So they're literally extending unproductive calls because they have to hit the minute. So what you have is two departments that if they work together, in some senses, do you know what I'd, do? I'd advise companies to do? It's totally unpopular and probably will lose me some people here. But I would disband the sales and marketing department. I would get rid of them both. And I would create a new 
uh, sales and marketing function. I'd love to come up with a name, maybe business development, and actually focus on, okay, let's look at a whole process from customer doesn't know us to a salesperson or a sell salesperson is talking to that customer to put the, bring them on board. What does that process look like? What bits do we need in it? What's the messaging through the whole process? Let's work together. Now, if you're doing that, you're one of a few companies that are actually doing that. What most are doing are working in their silos, doing their own thing, and then wonder why it doesn't work so well or why they can't actually reinvent their revenue and really ramp up sales. And it's because of this massive disconnection. Salespeople rely on the marketing department for their assets, collateral, and all of that stuff. Marketing rely on sales to actually close the business. So they are two interdependent departments, yet they function like they don't need each other. They behave like they don't need each other. They operate in their own parameters, and there is almost, uh, in a lot of times, total distrust for both departments. Total distrust. And, I, I, you know, for whatever reason, marketing departments... Uh, generally get no credit for when things happen because the salespeople close the deals. So marketing are constantly on the defensive and sales are constantly on the offensive because that's their nature. So uh, so you've got the, the, the attackers and the defenders and when you look at it, on a, a, you know, they're both working together for the same result but they just... Oh, it's madness. So here's my tip. If you've got a marketing and a sales function, join the two departments. You'll have a bit of a bit of hassle at the beginning. You'll have the politics of all of that, the power games of all of that. But actually, if you join those two departments together in a real and meaningful way, and this is where choosing the head of that department is really important because they have to integrate that into one team and not make two teams, two departments under one leader, integrate that team because then the effectiveness of everything you do will go up, the return on investment will go up, both from the marketing and the closing closed business side. It's just a hands down winner. But as long as we keep these two departments separate, we are going to find problems emerging and inefficiency, massive inefficiency between the two departments.